Hello and welcome to RC Hacker. Now today I've got, uh, I'm not doing an unboxing, I've already unboxed it, but I've got in the mail today, I've got myself a brand new soldering iron, FX888. Um, I went for the one with the knob, there's a new digital one out, but this is the old version. And I got a big package from Mouser, which I've been waiting for a while. I had a whole lot of trouble because I ordered something from the States, which they won't export a new uh, gyro and accelerometer sensor so I had to get that taken out and it delayed everything a bit but basically all these parts you see here bar these ones over here which I'll, which I'll go over are going to be for this little board which I've also got made from Seed Studio um, it's a gimbal there's lots of and lots of gimbals on the market, but I've based this one on the open source one by Martinez. And I basically redesigned the whole board, made it smaller. I've got components on both sides, which is going to make it a bit of a pain in the bum to make, but it'll make it a little bit more compact. I ditched the FTDI programmer, so there's no USB port on this. So you need to plug in an FTDI programmer to program it. But I've added these uh, two pots here. and that will allow me just to tune it in the field. That's that's the idea anyway. So I mainly I'm mainly done this for myself, um, but I've bought enough parts. As you can see, I've bought enough parts over here so I can make ten of them. So hopefully, I'll be able to cover my costs. That's the idea anyway. But I'm still waiting for a hot air. Uh, rework a nice hot air gun I've got coming as well and a decent lab power supply which will help with, with the testing um, those are going to be another couple of weeks uh, I did have another project to switch but that's so niche I thought I'd do something I want to get a gimbal going so I thought I'd do that uh, let's have a look at some of these other things I bought a bunch of regulators um, just for powering my FPV equipment and camera and stuff like that so I don't know how they're going to go. These are, are quite expensive little components. Okay, these are, oh, they're quite good looking. These are little, they're switching regulators by um, Murata. I haven't seen the back side of them, but they're and I, it's a whole switching regulator circuit all combined into one and apparently they're a drop-in replacement for like a, a typical type of linear regulator. This one, I think this is, I've got a 5 volt one and I've got a 3.3 volt one. Okay, this is a 5 volt, this is a 3.3. A 3.3 powers my 5.8 gigahertz transmitter and they'll put out Apparently put out one and a half amps and the input voltage is really wide, something like 7 to 36 volts. So you can basically put any combination of LiPo cells on these and they should work. And I also got to go with that. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I also got to go with that. This is a tiny little switching regulator that takes in 3.3 volts and outputs 9 volts out. And it's one watt, I think that's equivalent to something like just uh, 150 milliamps or something like that. And it's tiny, all in its own package. So all I really need to do is um, for my FPV gear, I'll have a 3.3 volt one and then hook that up to this so I've got 9 volts for my camera. And hopefully I won't need any sort of filtering or anything like that. Like these have fairly low noise. We'll see how that goes. We'll try that out. And other things not related to my um, gimbal parts. A bunch of Kynar wire. That means I can get going on another project. We just sort of ran out of wire. And that's what I got. And SDM32F4 Discovery Pack. Now, I do want to build myself a copter control. And building yourself a copter control and programming it. Programming it. Programming it. Uh, and building yourself a copter control apparently one of these is quite useful so there you go cheers i'm going to go through all these parts look at the size of them you know i've just got loads of stuff here 
there the, that's a nice big pack, that's the um, motor controllers. So, um, cheers, thank, thanks for watching. Finally this has all arrived. Oh look, I can't guarantee when these gimbals are going to be ready, but you know, I've got to modify the software and I've got to do a whole lot of testing and everything like that, but I've spent a lot of time designing this board and selecting the parts, so hopefully I've got it right. Cheers, thanks for watching.